writing functions that return values. Now you are going to write your own function that returns a value, max value. This function should return the maximum of two values provided as input. The code for min value is provided so that you can replicate the pattern used in this function. Patterns for functions that return values. Use parameters to provide input. Yeah, right, to allow us flexibility when uh, implementing or when calling the function. Declare a variable that will be used as output. Possibly initializing its value. Yeah, possibly assigning it to a value uh, when you do that. Sometimes not. We'll get into that. Update the value in your output variable throughout your program. Return your output variable on the last line of your function. You may actually recognize many some, you may actually recognize many similarities between how we wrote functions that process arrays and functions that return values. These patterns aren't rules for programming, but they help make your code easy to read and understand, which is critical. Starter code has been provided which stubs out max val and generates two random numbers. Min val is still provided so that you can replicate the pattern used. Write max val replicating a pattern used to write min val. Okay. So they're saying replicate a lot. Copy and paste. Okay. And now we want something else, right? We don't want to say min, that would be confusing, max. So I'm going to make all these min values max for this variable. And then we're going to return whatever max is equal to at the end. Okay, and then if this is going to check for a min value, I bet if we flip it, If number one is greater than number is greater than, yep, so if number one, if this, right, so what's number one going to be? Well, where do we call our function? Oh, we haven't called it yet. Number one will be, though, random one. Number two will be n random two, right? So let's go ahead and do that function call. And it should compare them. We'll find out. 73 and 63. I mean, 74 and 63. Yep, that's the max. Yep, 95 is the max. Perfect. And all we had to do was flip it. And it's using number one, number two, because that's our parameters here. So when this function runs, when we say, hey, run max value, the computer looks for it. Hey, where's the? Oh, here it is. And then it says, okay, variable max, make that variable num1. Well, what's num1? I don't know. Oh, boom. What's rand1? Oh, yeah, it's that random number I created up here. Okay. So maybe, well, this time it's 87. Num2, what's num2? I'm not sure. Uh, oh, it's rand2. What's rand2? Oh, this random variable here. And that's 37. Okay. If 87 is larger than 37, true. The computer says, yeah, that's true. Drops down and runs this code, which makes our max variable equal to num1. Oh, what's num1? Oh, rand1. What was rand1 again? And it sets that variable equal. It skips the else because we had our if statement was true, and it returns the max value. What's the max value? It's equal to num1. And that's why we get 87. Cool. Let's keep going.